back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan. Today we were friends with Sam Shepherd. Hey! And today we're gonna cut open in boards. Electric in boards. In boards. They're, they're electric skateboards, and I'm so excited. I'm These so things excited. are pretty sweet, and thanks to Sam for bringing this all the way from New York City. Yeah! First Artists. time in Utah. How do you like it? You like this? It's beautiful. The mountains, I can't get over the mountains. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is a new beginning. Maybe this is our first of many collabs with Sam Sheffer. So if you remember one of our first ever collabs that we ever did with anybody, and it was the boosted board. Welcome back to What's Inside. What is it that's unique about this thing? All right, so I'm gonna turn this thing on and you'll notice it has headlights wow. and taillights. That's cool. It's got motors inside the wheels. Now listen to what it sounds like when you rev this thing. <laughs> it's kind of like a video game. It makes seriously crazy like robotic noises. It has a removable battery. You just pop it out like what? this. Grab the one from your pocket or book bag, pop, pop. it back in. Like, <laughs> That's it's cool. Nuts. And Lincoln, what's your favorite thing about this? It comes with a bag! <laughs> a bag! He's pretty excited about the bag. Last time I was in New York riding on an electric skateboard, I crashed it into the East River and it wasn't even my board. <laughs> Down. It was you. I, I had the wrong remote, number two. So this video isn't sponsored by Inboard. This is just Sam brought these boards and got them so that we can try and them a out. Bag. There's a bag. Yeah. If you didn't hear already, there's a bag. We're gonna go and try it on some trails, give you our honest opinion about like what we think about this board, and then we're gonna bring it back and cut it open because look how smooth it is underneath. There's some wires right there, but that's pretty much it because you have the motor right there. It's different. This is a boosted board. So Lincoln, jump on this one, and look how bouncy it is. I notice the inboard is super stiff, will not flex. It's made out of some super strong composite. Ta-da! Ta-da! But enough talking, should we go ride? That's great, okay. Yeah, let's, go. let's go test them out and see how this thing really works Guided in the real here. world. Lincoln's first time on a different type of electric skateboard. Let's see it. No big deal. There's Sam. Woo! I'm pretty sure I have the fastest one. He tried to spit on the camera. He tried to spit on you guys. Give him a thumbs down for that. Thumbs down for Lincoln spitting on you. That's what I say. <laughs> Woo I'm gonna be honest, this feels better than the boosted board. It just feels so smooth. I mean, this road doesn't have any bumps on it. So I think a, a board that's stiffer is going to do better on flat ground. Where if you're in like a city when there's lots of bumps, the boosted board might dampen the cracks a little bit because of the flexibility that's in the board that we saw Lincoln show earlier. So far, ugh, there's bugs. Do you see these bugs? Ugh. I like this. I like it a lot. Get what, off. <laughs> what do you think, Lincoln? What so, you... sometimes on the boosted board, I just like letting go and just cruising without any boost. Yeah. But it just stops you. So if you like pull off the trigger and stop going, it, it slows will you down stop fast. you so This fast. will? Yeah. The boosted board, you can let go and it saves energy and it just rolls. See that? See how you yeah. can't spin it? I can. Well, I know with that. What I'm saying is, this is what the regular skateboards are like, or like the boosted board. This one, since it has a motor in there, you can't do that. But the battery still lasts longer. This is the secret, I think. Lincoln does not weigh very much, where Sam and I do weigh a bit more, me a lot more than Sam. So if we, if we let off the brake, the wheel can still spin because of our it's inertia. Heavy, right? Yeah. Lincoln, it's like he's not even on the board. It's like he's a feather. <laughs> Mystery solved. Oh, Come back. Oh. Whoa, that was faster <laughs> than I thought. I'm worried about you, Sam. I'm a professional, Dan. Good idea. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end of our uh, little trip. We're heading back. Let's cut this thing open. I want to see what is under this nice, smooth platform part. I don't know if it's fiberglass, plastic. You can see where it's put together right there. Inboard, we're going to see what's inside the board. Inboard, we're going to see in the board. Lincoln Pun City. Goodbye, Inboard. It was a nice two hours riding you. So let's see what's inside. Awesome. Look at this boosted board. Look, it's just wood on all of it right here. And then you have this compartment, which we learned is the batteries in there. And then this is part of the motor. Everything's on the outside and then you just have this thin board. This is sleek and smooth and aerodynamic. Saw time. We have to do this for science, right? Always. Science purposes only. Smoking. Yeah. 
through the blade, it's just bending as we go. It's so incredibly hot. This is just melting. The blade is melting. <laughs> I didn't make it all the way through. Look at the underside. <sighs> I wonder if we just stomp on it. Oh! Nicely done. All right, let's see what, oh. That oh, so there is wood. That entire thing is wood, are you kidding me? What? What, no wonder the smoke was going. That's why it smells like wood too, wood. Wow. That literally is the entire bottom. Dude, look at this thing. It looks like it's the entire thing is wood and then it just has this layer of fiberglass Whoa. that surrounds it. Why do you think they would make a board with that thick of wood? for sheer durability, I guess. Maybe it's because on the other side is the battery and they have to make a hole for the battery for it to sit uh, in. Maybe they could just... Like, how deep is that indention go? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. there's the battery. That's how low it goes. That's, that's almost to the bottom. This right here is the little tiny line that goes to the LED lights. That's ah, it. that makes sense. So it's one right there, one right there. So it's probably just like one wire that connects to there through the whole board. It comes with this fancy tool thing, which is called what in skateboarding terms? A skate tool. So we're just gonna take the back truck off to make this cutting process easy. So this is the bushing right here. And then in theory, this should just come off like this. And then we can disconnect these wires that are coming right out of the board. What do you call it? Whoa. Whoa, okay. okay. So part one is this. There's no cars. We're in serious need of a company to provide me with some tools because every time we need tools, I don't have them. All we need is the little tool that you put in there and you twist it and then this tire would come off. Instead, we're gonna use a different tool. Woo! I cracked the rock. Wow. Okay, it's not gonna roll around anymore, so that's helpful. Oh, you shredded oh. the rock! Oh, what's inside our rock? <laughs> I think you did make a, a, a little bit of a dent in that. Little bit being the optimal word. It didn't move one bit. Okay. I think that's enough. My rock is in like 20 pieces now. This is a lesson on how to make gravel. Now you just pull it off. Why don't we just do that the whole time? What? what? Look at the wheel. That's it. You can squish it. This is the motor. Look how it's protected with this hard, hard steel. That's right. the move right here. I think Sam needs a turn. Use a sledgehammer before. I've actually before. never used a sledgehammer before. <laughs> Did I miss? I think you totally Did missed totally it. Just missed destroyed and just this destroyed rock. Destroyed your rock. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sam. Thanks a lot. You've been hitting this thing. You've been doing a good job hitting. <sighs> <laughs> All right, another try. Sam Sheffer sledgehammer, take two. I definitely hit that. And you didn't even hit the troll. Take three. Yeah! One thing that we are not is we are not a channel where you learn how to use tools properly and do things the right way. Almost there. Could have done this at the beginning. Okay, so we basically just cut that off and the motor's still on. Oh, that's really hot. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's dangerously hot. We got a jumper. That Whoa, was <laughs> that scared me. That's good enough. We are in this thing. All right, this is, you see the motor right there. The bearing was on the back. Are you ready for this, Sam Sheffer? Yes. Are you ready for your yes. mind to be blown? That's what an oh, engine looks like. Wow. <laughs> it's actually really cool looking. Wow. All through, you have those coils that go through it that make up the motor. It looks like there's magnets all along this. Do you see those little metal yeah. squares right there? Yeah. And then you've got the coils that kind of work together. Somebody that understands motors really well will understand what this looks like. They're probably just like, yeah, that's what a motor looks like. So here's your awesome look inside of the motor. I'm still surprised that this thing is just one thick piece of wood. Man, that motor is tough. 
this was a lot of fun. It was a crazy project. If you want to see the behind the scenes of our day, go to Sam Sheffer's YouTube channel. He filmed our day and his experience in Utah, first time in Utah. <laughs> Subscribe to his channel, check out his stuff if you want to see some awesome tech reviews, vlogs from New York City, and then hopefully like we can convince him to come back to Utah and do something else crazy with us. Maybe something a little easier to cut open though. Yeah, this was a bit complicated. <laughs> we will put a link in the description to inboard this M1 board. We did it! Ha! Go check out Sam Sheffer's YouTube channel. We'll I'll link it there. at the end. End card. See ya.